Okay. All right, we got news that we are finally live for. Dumpster Dave has finally come through. I mean, we're close, but nothing official yet. The Mets are close to a deal with Jake Diekman. Now, obviously, this is not official yet. So because, you know, Andy Martino, he has to, uh, you know, bring down the optimism of Mets fans, even for Jake Diekman. Um, and he said that we're not in an agreement yet, but it looks like he's expected to sign with the Mets. So uh, we're going to talk about Jake Diekman. We'll answer your comments in the in the uh, chat. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's roll the intro. Let's get this thing started. Okay, so before we begin, as per usual, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Hit the notifications for live streams like this and also the premiere of our podcast every single Tuesday at 4 uh, o'clock, which is the usual. Uh, follow us all individually. Links are in the description. So, Jake Diekman, it looks like the Mets are going to be signing a second lefty for the bullpen, which I think that we've pretty much been asking for for a long time. I mean, for me, I don't really care. But for you and Frank, it's a very important thing uh, for your traditional minds. Um, so he was in your, uh, he was in your video, uh, as a piece that you signed on a, I don't know, one year deal. Some, I don't know what you did, but what do you think of Stern's going a direction in your mind? I mean, it's, it's about damn time you sign somebody who doesn't suck. Uh, no, uh, this is a guy that it seems like the last, since we started the show, I and you have been like, hey, can we go get this freaking guy? Like, I get the walk problems an issue, and that's going to be in New York, and having him and Adam Adovino in the same bullpen, um, a lot of hair is going to get ripped out. But unlike Adam Adovino, he doesn't throw freaking 92 miles an hour, and again, is one of those guys, a funky lefty. Yes, now look, we have a guy who can be used, and Brooks Raley can be the second, you know, can now kind of be a straight up setup man. Now you have a guy that. Again, you're going up against Bryce Harper in a late spot in the eighth inning. You can use Deke against him and still have Brooks Raley later, seventh inning, sixth inning, and still have Brooks later in the game. He's been a guy, again, like I said, he's in. he was in my video. I've always loved Jake Deekman, so the fact that he's finally a Met, again, we don't know what – again, Martino's shooting it down, so we, you know, never know. This could be a Carlos Correa situation. He never signs with the Mets, but if it is confirmed, I mean, it's, it's a good acquisition. Again, it's – Probably the second best move he's done all offseason. But, again, it's it's a bullpen arm. It's an extra lefty. We'll see. And, again, just deepening the pen, which we definitely need. Again, push Drew Smith down that depth chart as much as possible. Yeah, I think this is a good addition only because I think that this, you know, brings up the versatility in the pen. And I think that that's something that the Mets really have lacked where – yeah, they have a lefty in their – one lefty in their pen, but then they don't have the second lefty. but you have a hard throwing lefty and now you have a t and you have a soft tossing lefty so now you're starting to see two different looks from the left side of the bullpen so that's pretty good um so that probably means that you know Josh Walker guys like that those guys will be starting off in in Triple A most Lavender. likely don't forget like Nate Lavender Nate Lavender who I don't know why Mets fans love so much um so we'll see what happens, but uh, this, I think, is a solid ad. Again, it's not perfect. To me, he's basically like hater, just older, but worse. Like, that's how I look at it. The arm slot, the high velocity, walking the ballpark, lots of fly balls. That's how I look at it. Basically, just Josh Hader, just older and worse. Um, but I think that this is a decent uh, addition. Obviously, 37 years old. I would have liked to uh, aim a little bit younger, but I think that this is a better solu uh, solution. This is a better. Um, this is a better option than just bringing back Aaron Loop, in my opinion. This is a better option than uh, giving four years to Wendy Peralta. I, can we talk about that for a second? 
Okay. Wendy uh, Peralta. Yeah. Nah. Go. Listen. Okay. Wendy Peralta. AAV, fine. Steal of an AAV. Four fucking years to him, to a reliever, to a reliever, and also a lefty reliever. That I've, I don't think I've ever seen that before unless it's Josh Hader. That's I mean, crazy. Drew or Palmer. Chapman or Palmer has got that same like, okay, yeah, listen, no. I think Wendy Peralta is a solid reliever. I think he's great, but he ain't four year deal great. I mean, I never want again. He, he, they were the you know the link to him. I didn't want Lonnie Peralta. I was like, no thanks. Like, go again, D. Go get you know anybody else again. Like, it didn't have to be a lefty, but again, they're standing. There was plenty of guys out there. But the fact that it's like the four, year, it's really not a four. Year, it's a four year deal as on the contract. It's a one year deal he with gets, three. Options. He has to guarantee four years. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's a four. He has, it's the, a, gar he has the guaranteed four years. Yeah, no, he does three it? It's three options. It's three. It's exactly a three year, three options. Yeah, so they're guaranteed to him if he wants to take it. <laughs> if he wants to, and he's gonna think, hey, yeah. go, just I don't like know just like how Adam Ottavino's was a two year deal because and it's they, a player option. He nah, has the options guaranteed. That's Omar Narvaez. He show. wants to take it. No, that's Omar Narvaez. But again, like yeah, I Omar Narvaez was so. seen as a two year deal. <laughs> But I, I didn't want to terminology again. right, you fucking idiot. No, it's one push, one push, one push, one. But again, I didn't want him. So I, I, when I saw that, I started laughing. I'm like, this is the guy who was going nuts about to get yeah, that god awful you, you of a deal. Guys with no talent, with talent. Uh, but yeah. again, San Diego of all teams just being the one to give it to him. But they again, they've done that with Suarez and uh, Nick Martinez and Drew Palmer. They love giving these weird term deals to relievers. It's just that what they do. And they got Sucko Cock or whatever the hell that guy's name is, the closer. Like, they love these just weird, long-term, opt-out years with relievers. So, um, again, I didn't care. He wasn't on my list, so I didn't really give a shit. But I know a lot of people wanted him. And on that deal, everyone was like, hell no. So, again, it's move on. Zeke's better. So, we got the better lefty. So, we'll move on. And we got him for probably about, I guess, probably $5 million. Could be, if I'm guessing one year, probably five. Mm -hmm. That, well, that's I mean, the ten million dollar budget. We already spent it's, four point already, five. Exactly. Um, we got you know we're the A's. We have a budget. We have to spend now, so we have to you know. Yeah. But yeah, again, I'm I'm okay with it. Again, Deke on a one year deal, fine. Uh, what do we got here? But again, fans will not come in if we don't get a DH. Is that what we're? I mean, Robert nobody's going to watch. This is a 73 win yeah, team. No, with yeah, no one is going to go to City Field. Nobody's um, going to City Field to watch this poverty ash work. But shit. listen, I, um, no, I don't, I don't really, to be honest, I'm fine. If they want to go with Vientos, go with Vientos. Again, this is a different conversation. If they want to go to Vientos, go with Vientos at this point. Don't even bother if you're going to, you know, like sign crap for the DH position. Like, don't even bother. It's either you go, with Soler, you go to J.D. Martinez or you go to nobody. It looks like the Mets are just looking for the prices to go down to possibly sign one, but I would not. I, I'm I'm going to rule it out. I'm not expecting anything. So that's uh, that's how I feel about it. But I know people are very frustrated that they're not going to be getting a DH. Um, but you know what? We've already been told multiple fucking times no one wants to listen that this is a wait and see year the losing year that that's just, just call out it. it's a losing this year. is a wait and see year so they're going to address everything what they address what they want at the trade deadline or whatever considering where the what position the the team is in and that's what it's going to look like but we still have money so everybody wants to go Spend it, spend it, spend it, spend it. Just like you, who sucks. Sorry, I want to win. Sorry, I want to win championships. I'm not trying to sit here and watch Brett Beatty play 400 games this year. No, I don't yeah, want to. Well, every that. single time that they have spent this type of money, they've screwed well, supposedly up. Well, so... supposedly we have a smart person. So let's give the smart person $900 million and have him spend it. If he's so smart, it's that simple. He's just yeah, smart. It wouldn't person. be $900 million. It wouldn't be a $900 million payroll. It would be like a 1.2 because of the fucking tax. It's okay. even more. So Cohen's got to work an extra weekend, okay? Cohen's got to work weekends now. 
He only works Monday to Friday. Now. He's, only, he's got to work the, you he's got to work the weekends. Idiot. Work the weekend. Okay. He's got to work Saturday idiot. and Sunday. Now. No All more right. days off. No more days off, Steve. You got to you got to make some more money. So you got to work the weekend. Ugh. According to Andy Martino, the Mets had a two-year deal with a club option in the in the eight to ten million dollar range on the table earlier this week for Wendy Peralta. Oh. He didn't take it. What a bitch. Yeah, good. It's too much money for him. He's trash. Four million dollars is a lot more realistic for a guy. Lower ERA than Diekman. Backing you into the fucking corner. Got those ninety two miles an hour, no thanks. No, he doesn't. Those that weak ass soft crap. No thanks. You need to you need to uh you need to get information first before you. No, and again, we gotta stop crap. getting this Yankee retread garbage. Go, there's 28 other teams. Go get some of those players. Stop with the shitty Yankees. Go, go, go get a Tampa Bay. They're a good team. Go steal their players. That's a good idea. Stop with this Yankee retread garbage. There's 29, 28 other beautiful teams. Go get those. Go get their players. Brave. Go steal Braves players. Phillies, Dodgers. Leave the shitty Yankees. Let them fucking rot away. Stop with this shit. Go 28 beautiful teams. Go that way. And they did. They said, nah, we don't want Yankee garbage. Let's go get Ray's reclamation pl- reclamation project garbage. Just, you know, got to go in the dumpster. Come on. You want to say something? Say it. Say it. Okay, uh, for those of you in here, make sure to like the stream if you have not already. Uh, subscribe. Um, so as for Jake Diekman, now, the problem is the control. I've seen a lot of people talk about it on Twitter, about how he has command issues. He doesn't have command issues. He's actually fantastic with command. He doesn't allow that much hard contact. The problem is is the fact that he has not been able to throw strikes consistently throughout his entire career. But when he's right, he's right. He can get a lot of strikeouts. Now, there was an excerpt. I don't know where it came from. But um, it said that the Mets noticed that Diekman made a change to his delivery after the trade last season from the White Sox to the Rays. That alter That alteration caused him to throw more strikes and appear sustainable. So maybe there's a possibility where we get the walk rate under 12% <laughs> for Jake Diekman. But, you know, I think that, you know, to be honest, I mean, we did this before. Hefner did this before. He stopped, you know, out of Eno from walking so many batters. And then it kind of just fell off because he's like, maybe this can be, you know, another one. But... Um, but like I said, it's basically just hater, um, who's worse and older. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. I, I like it though. I do like it. I think that it makes the bullpen better. I think it gives it more depth. Um, and didn't of the that- reliable options that I have of you have that, you know, Diaz, Rayleigh, Lopez, Diekman. Oh. Shut the fuck up. Respect Lopez. That is your fellow Puerto Rican. Okay? I need to see ba- I need to see Baltimore version. I didn't want to see Minnesota I need- version. Shut up. Shut up. I need um, good MLB the show. Then, but and here's the other is, wall. Who else is in that pen now? Uh, Drew Smith. Gotta love Drew Smith. Who else is considered considered to get it? Um Tonkin still. Is Austin is, is Austin Adams on a major league deal? I think it's a minor with spring training, is what I think. Is it split? I don't know. It might be a split. Yeah, like that. Yeah, who not getting? Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I care because I like to deliver the information. Nah, information. Okay. Information. Um, but I guess, and there's the other thing. That's the why we're complaining about it, which it's is pending just, physical. The agreement it's pending is pending physical. physical. They got to you know check his prostate. But here's the other thing, which again everyone was made a big deal about adding Lopez, adding Deekman. We'll see if they add another guy, and if it's Alex Reyes has some velocity. <laughs> If it's again that report, if it's Barnes or uh, Reyes, the Mets had the fewest pitches over and adding what? What? No, it's just Andy Martino. I just oh, I love his wording. I just love his wording so much. Oh, no. The Mets quite have possibly finished their offseason with the addition of Jake Diekman. Quite possibly. 
I love how he dances around this shit. It's so funny. Um, what did you say? Continue. Sorry. It's just funny. <laughs> Fucking Andy Martino. But here's my like Andy Martino's a troll. We saw the stat come out came out before the offseason that the Mets had the fewest pitches over 95 miles an hour in baseball last year. Yes, you're gonna get when Diaz back that you'll add like 295 with Diaz. And then you add Lopez, who has the high velocity. Plus, you add Jake Diekman. I don't fucking know about Austin Adams and Tonkin. I think they both are around that 95 mark. So, again, you're already adding velocity Adams to a pen. A, Adams is a hard slider guy. Hard slider guy. That is a dog I'm pretty sure he just throws a slider. Like that's he the just throws another, throws another hard Frisbee. He throws a slider. And there he no, is. He doesn't throw a Frisbee. It's a hard slider. But but then, yeah, then we brought in, we had, had to bring back the Frisbee himself and Adam Adovino. Excuse me, I'm yeah. trying. To, I'm trying to, buddy. I'm, I'm trying to do something, but I'm, I'm trying. I'm sorry. I think I'm trying to. This, I hope that this they trust Deekman more than Adovino. That's literally what I'm hoping. Yeah, like, to be know. honest, because I'm just, I just don't want to see Adam Adovino in any of the high leverage situations. To be honest, like I just don't see him. Like we we talked about this on the podcast, but I just don't see this dude like in the position that you're expecting him to be in, like him being the veteran that he is, um, you know, in the downswing of his career. Like, I just don't see a possibility where he succeeds in high leverage, not to mention the walks, not to mention the home runs he gave up last year, but also the fact that that pitch clock really fucked with him last year, whether you want to say what you want to see with it or not. Like, listen, overall in a vacuum, he had a good year last year. But when we needed him to be what we needed him to be, which was close to the 2022 form that he was, he was terrible. And I'm not going to say that the guy just having, you know, a sub three, five is the reason why, you know, you bring a guy like that back. Now, listen, you were not on the podcast um, this week. So what did you think of the Adam Adovino signing? Uh, I mean, this be, I was like, what the fuck? I mean, that's again, it's just one of these, like, why? Like, I'm the same with you. Again, you had Ryan, I, and this is what, again, this crap of, oh, you, if you're telling me, let's say Ryan Stanek signing for $9 million. <laughs> what? Do you, <laughs> you okay? You no, right? I'm not. But let's say this crappy $10 million supposed budget left. If you're telling me Stanek's going to sign for, let's say, eight, or would I have rather Stanek over Diekman plus Adovino? Yes. I would have rather have had Stanek because that's the legit high leverage arm that you could use in any opportunity. And then you could have went cheap, cheap at, you know, minor league invite for a guy like Loop or whatever because you would have Stanek in the high spot. But, like, He's back at four million bucks. So again, it's a one year, four million dollar deal, which you can't, you can't be like, you know, lose your complete butt about. But like, I wasn't happy with it. I'm like, I'm sitting at work. I seen, I saw the group chat. And I'm just like, why? Like another one of these, just you have better options. Why are you settling for this his version? Like you were again. Yeah. And once David Robertson signed the day before, I'm like, good. They're not doing the retreads again. Get the old guys out. And then the next day, Adam Adovino's back. And yeah, that's at four million bucks. And most of it's deferred, I think it was. That's something most of it's deferred. So cool. He's making nothing. If he's the sixth inning reliever, fine. Like have him be in the Drew Smith role, mop up, you know, sixth inning blowout innings. It's not fine. Gonna happen, though. But it's he's not like that. Happen, he's though. the most Yeah. I was no, I'm not saying the most seasoned. Watchable. He's the most seasoned. He's seasoned. He's very seasoned. And again, Lopez upside or not, and if I trust Lopez, I I, think I do like him. But like now with Deekman, like even still, they're gonna still buy put on opening day. It's gonna be Diaz in the ninth. If let's say they're winning, which shocker, if they're winning, was well, April, they might be good. But let's say in the ninth inning, Diaz will be set up. In the eighth, how much you want to bet? It's gonna be Adam Adafino getting up in the eighth inning, like. And again, we'll see what's new. You know what Mendoza well, I does. Mean, I said that, it. But... I said it already um, with Adam Adovino. I'm hoping that since he's on a one year deal, he'll be a free agent no matter what. If he is trash, if he pitches even worse, they have the decency to cut him loose. Yeah, that's what I'm should, hoping. They shouldn't. But again, I really, I really do. Because like, 
Uh, that's one thing that I do really like about Stearns is that he's cut relievers loose when they've struggled. Like he's like, okay, this is not going to work out. Let's move on. And he just, you know, cycles in the next. So like I've seen the, I've seen the Brewers DFA a lot of relievers. Like that has happened a lot during uh, Stern's tenure with Milwaukee. So hopefully he does have the decency to, if he does struggle, Rhino, if he does struggle, they do cut it loose because if you're on a one-year deal, and that's what I'm hoping makes it so flexible with a lot of these one-year deals they've made, if they're struggling and if they are being a if they are a negative asset to this roster, I'm hoping that they eventually have the decency in a decent sample of them playing like shit to cut them loose. You know what I mean? Like there's just there's no real reason as to why. And then you have your young depth in the farm system that maybe can replace that if they prove they can be or so, you know what I mean? Like I'm glad that they have this, like they're in this flexible state right now. I know everybody's frustrated that they're not spending the money, the money, the money and the, duh. but I'm just saying that they are currently at a pivotal point where they can literally just assess everything in front of them and they have options that they can go to. And that's what I like. That's what I'm happy about. I'm not, again, this is this is the thing. I'm not going to completely go crazy of what they're doing right now until I see it on the field. I have to see the product on the field because I know that Stearns deserves that. For, for us, we owe it to Stearns to see what his team can do. We do. I mean, look at the look at how his teams have been projected compared to the results that he's gotten over the bat over the past seven, eight years. Let's not forget. I mean, listen, there 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 has been low expectations for his teams, and they have exceeded those expectations. So I'm telling you to trust the guy for one second. Let the guy do his job. Stop breathing down his neck. All right. He can't, he can't, okay. He can't be, uh, he can't breathe properly. All right. He's got the big Jewish schnoz. All right. Just let the guy do his job. Okay. So fuck you. That's what I'm saying. Has, has David Stern and, and I wanted to bring this. I mean, I'm not, again, I troll enough. I'm not like most people. I'll be like completely on his ass, but let's act. Let's no, take a you're look. Just a bum. No, let's take. Has David Stearns ever had to deal with a team, two teams, in his division, the Poverty NL Central? Has they, have they ever had a team like, or two teams like the Braves and the Phillies? I'm not saying anything, but like he's had all the success with in the American Leagues and NL Central, which is equivalent to the American League Central. I'm gonna give him look, yeah, rock out. But this projection, he yeah, gave him. You can beat up on shitty teams in the National League Central and boost those win totals. This isn't the NL Central, bud. You got the Braves who are going to win 100 games. You got the Phillies that are going to win 97 games. Let me, the let me counter Wilson, this. Let me counter Miami, this. Whatever. Did, did the Brewers ever have a core of Lindor, Nimmo, Alonzo, Alvarez, Jeff McNeil? They, he had he had something the Mets have never had. He had an he MVP. Had, he had, he had an MVP. He had an MVP. Yeah, he had yelling. the mayor of Ding Dong City and Travis Shaw, who had 35 nukes at second base. Travis, yeah, I know. Travis Shaw is in the same category as Lindor and Alonzo. I mean, has, yeah. has you know, an old wash. Plus, you throw the elite Lorenzo Kane. Plus, you throw an all-star Jonathan Lucroy. You know, Mike Moustakis, those two years. He had 35 homers from them in Milwaukee. They beat the Mets, by the way. Two of those guys beat the Mets in the World Series. Not to mention the Brewers were really good in the wild card race, which is against all teams, not nobody, the NL Central. No, nobody cares. Nobody cares about the wild card. Yeah, no, yeah. Nobody, I'm on. Nobody. I'm on your fucking. I'm in your brain. And they've had um, like one NL Central NLCS appearance. They've been consistent winners of mid. 
You just they, want to get to the postseason first. Just get no. to the postseason. You won 75 games. We Your did that. No, we did that, with, we did that with F-Dog. We got, as soon as F-Dog got in, we went to the playoffs right away. No, F-Dog right got 101 wins. 101. Okay? I bet, I bet you did. He didn't get to the playoffs. He just 90. got 101 wins. 101. And I bet you Stearns never hit you out more than 92. Well, Stearns ain't the one playing. So exactly, he just just Billy Epler was the one at the plate. So exactly, Billy Epler was so close. To be cool. honest, it was because like Daniel Vogelbach, <laughs> Daniel Vogelbach was and literally just him. Daniel Vogelbach and and Billy Epler were pretty much at the same skill set when they were when he came to the match. <laughs> and Darren Ruff. but and uh, Darren Druff. And here's okay. Um, and here's again. This is I had this tangent with not you but a couple other Mets fans about the DH just in general, like not taking advantage of a market that's not moving. If you sign Hor, mm-hmm. let's say Hor again. We keep saying so late. Mm-hmm. Given, give him a big one year deal, whatever, nineteen, whatever. Go open, tell Cohen, you know, we need a little more money. Let's say he has a good year, and guess what? And this is what I keep. Ben I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to see one of them fall, one of well, JD, but JD that, Martinez, that not, and Hor. Let me get fall. to the point first, and then yes, that's true. But no, no, yeah. I'm not letting you. No, let fuck me fucking you. talk. Here's the deal. And they, the big thing that they say is Ventos and Stewart, a guy who had a John Buck month, who now is Jesus Christ all of a sudden, needs to get A-Bs. It's not like you got two injury-prone outfielders already on your roster that you know can pencil in a Starling Marte groin or hamstring pull. Oh, look, that opens up A-Bs for DJ Stewart. It's not like we have Brett Beatty playing third base who's going to suck dick by probably mid-May. Oh, my God, yes, we might not think Mark Ventos is a third baseman, but, hey, when he sucks, oh, my God, look, there's a, a opening up ABs. And let's say, because this team is going to be bad, but let's say they sign Soler, JD, that's kind of the two. And they have a really hot first year, first half. Even bad teams do this. Sign the guy to one year deal and flip his ass for prospects. They're not even doing that. Maybe the only guy they've done that with is Severino, which will fucking to be determined. But they haven't even done what bad teams always do is sign a bunch of one year deals. They did it with Tom Wolf. They didn't unconsequentially with Tommy Pham, sign a bunch of guys to one year deal, big money or not. And if you're, if they continue to suck, which this team's going to flip them at the deadline for more prospects and that, and like, Oh, we got to give a B's to Ventos and Sue. They're going to get them even with Solaire here because Brett will suck. There's a B's at third base. Starling Marte or Harrison Bader gets hurt. Nemo moves back to center. DJ Stewart's in left field or Marte's in right. Field. I don't think this, they, I don't think they view Vientos as a third baseman though. Who, if this season doesn't matter, who gives a shit? That's I'm not my saying point. the season doesn't matter. But I, that's my, that. like, I said it's a wait and let's just let let the dust settle first. No, nah, let the I, dust settle. But right? they're not even doing what shitty teams do and just sign a bunch of one year deals to trade up the deadline to get more assets. That's my thing. You want to be bad? Fine. Be bad. Develop whatever. Fucking actually do what. Bring in more assets, not just well. We're gonna sit with Ventos and Stewart. We're not gonna trade them. We're not gonna do anything with them. And just all Let's right. See what matter. you have. Why not? No. Like this is unless they're gonna go all in for it. Don't. Like, what's the fucking point? Getting more assets at the deadline. Because if because right now you're Severino, already gonna get tons of assets at the deadline. It just sucks. For who? And and you're not gonna Severino, do. And you're not gonna trade the actual Lopez, guy. You're not gonna trade the Adam actual Adavino, guy. You're actually getting have value. Joey Wendell. Who no. Wa- okay. Joey Wendell. Contact is key in the postseason. The big no. players left are not willing to take you. One you have goals, signed why. absolutely no players that no be- one wants a one year deal. You got tons of Boris clients out there. You think nobody wants take the- a one year deal. Michael think- Conforto shredded up his shoulder and still got a two year deal. Still got a two fight. Okay? He no Boris better, he Klein is taking years. a one year deal. Well, no, you can just give him a term with a one year off. Jackie deal. Bradley Jr. get a two year deal. I he mean, got a four, he got a four year deal. Your deal with Boston or Milwaukee, one of the two. God, I remember yeah. that fucking Signed by David Stearns, dumpster piece of yeah. shit. I mean, and then, he, and then he trades for Hunter Renfro, then doesn't have an opportunity to sign him. Signs Harris Bader. But the point is, if this team does suck, the only asset that pe- teams are actually going to want come playoff time at the trade deadline is the first base. It's the first base. Severino, whatever. If he is, a- if he's average, fine. That's the only other trade chip. Well, that's there's no other guys returning okay. assets. There is no he other assets traded, on so. this team. Jeff McNeil, but he's got term. If a team's wanting a rental at the deadline, it's Alonzo and to be determined if Severino gets his head out of it. 
Beatty. That's it. Yes, who a, a negative asset who's been is going to be dog shit. That's so teams are going to be lining up for that. Oh boy, he wasn't saying that a year ago. Do you remember that? Oh. Sorry, oh, I'm realistic. How the tables have turned. Sorry, I don't believe it. How Again, I want to win. Tables. I'm not sitting here. I'm not David Stern. Like Beatty. Beatty. He's going from Brooklyn to the to the major well, that's leagues. Big big show. Boy. It's more fun to do that. And that, was, that did good views. They got like three K views. That's good numbers. Besides the point, David Stern's like, I need to watch Brett Beatty. You had a whole fucking MOB archives. Go on MOB.com, watch all the games. You can watch the film and you can look at the numbers. Why do we need to see a whole other season? Matt Chapman's right there. Give him a nine year deal with a first year opt out. Let him do let him Stern's. Oh, we that's got real, the Oh, that's the real warning? warning? How you doing? Um, what is the real warning? Yeah. Is it the real warning? Um, I mean, we got the fake one. So. Deal is one year with a vesting option around oh. four to... Th wow. Okay. What's the... What's the? Do we got the, the required? Why would they get... I mean, I, let's see what the info is here. Okay, why would so they, the mean, deal is... A, the deal is like here. A one like it's official here. I mean, again, the term, the money wise, I'm not surprised. One, four, five, four, five million dollars, whatever. Also, thank you for the birthday wishes. The only person Everyone to care on about Twitter it. as well. Everyone, well, the everybody chat. on Twitter as well, who the have been Twitter. very, very nice. Very nice. Do I? Do I will you get just, you? You just sent me a picture of your ass. It was no, I sent you a picture man. of James McCann. There's a difference. I wait. Actually, I do have a Christmas present. I got a birthday gift. It's over here. I'll get you. I'll get your birthday gift in a sec. I'll mail. I need your address. I'll mail it to you. Oh crap. Uh, oh crap! This is gonna be like some sh like uh, Brad Hand card or some shit. All right. <laughs> okay. I, I, I knew I got. I had to get you something because you know it's your birthday. You knew it was coming up, so I had to get you I, something. So I I got you a jersey. You're. You're a bitch. <laughs> I got you. I got you a look. It's the blue one too. I got you the alternate jersey. I didn't get you the white basic one. Those are cheap. I got here you the comes the punchline. <laughs> I got you. I mean, it is different. It is you know, it's kind of a bootleg one. It's one of those bootleg jerseys, but it's okay. okay. But it's okay because I think the back's where it's where the money is at. Knew that was coming. And look at it, it's shined. Knew by that me. was coming. Look at it. And it's where, where's the camera? Hot. Uh, where's my camera? Oh, look. That that um that is gonna go in my whenever I go. change this background. Which there you I'm, go, I've brand new James much, McCann, James McCann autograph jersey. I've been <laughs> that is going directly to my background easily. Just like, stick easily. that in your background for the for the freaking trolls, just for the shits and giggles. There you go. I can have a brand new green screen with just a with a James McCann autograph jersey in the middle. There you go. I got to get rid of this green screen because I don't even use it anymore. You don't even use. You got to show off the collection of hats. I don't even use it. You got to yeah. show off your hat collection. Go bring it. You got no, that. What I have, around? what I have behind this. God, it is a uh, is a nightmare. He's got one of these back there too. He's got like autographed baseballs and shit behind that green screen and everything. Uh, yeah, I wish. You got your. Do you have your hat around there? Because you look so god awful in a hat. You got that weird ass Met hat around you. Yo, yeah, and I'm balding, so. Go, you might it's, have to put. Gonna, you might gotta put on it, but like you got like the weirdest Met hat I've ever seen. Like it's just, like it looks so fucking weird. Look at this show. Oh, he has this it. one. Right, I don't want the hot one. Why? You, like, look, what is that Met hat? Like, what is that? They just hydro dip. Look, 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 do I look, do I look like I'm about to sell some hot dogs? <laughs> you do look like somebody on the boardwalk trying to sell some hot dogs. <laughs> So, there Jesus you go. Christ! That that literally, I put that on my head for a second and it hurt. That's on the, that's on the biggest size. Okay, so <laughs> snap back in. Deal with. So, do we have the what the vesting, what the requirement is for the vesting? Yeah, option? I'm I'm trying to see what the vesting option. It's good. It's why would they? I mean, sure. That's. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, <laughs> keep your walk rate under twelve percent, and, like, and you've got an extra million dollars. Like, just, I mean, um, somebody Murray or well, I guess Martina would have it. Not seeing any uh, any vesting options yet? I'm not seeing anything. But did Martino just block me? Is that what that I'm is seeing it? That, that that might be very possible. But I don't know. Again, I'm just kind of waiting to see. It shouldn't be. It might be innings. So 
I, it would be funny if it's like keep your walk rate down under 12 for under 10 percent but so it's a vesting option for a second year basically that's what that we are which i don't okay. know if i i don't know if i love but again i'm fine just keeping them on a one year like is why we got to no 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 Keep it simple, but out of Eno, they didn't make they made that promise. They didn't give out of Eno another free investing. So, what is your problem? What is your problem? Out of Eno, just pro rate. They should just give him pro rated salary. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. He's getting he's getting it. What's it called? To, or what the fuck's it's uh, from twenty twenty five to thirty one? I think it was. He's getting fucking yeah. <laughs> What like eight hundred k? That's I mean that's deferred payments. Deferred, same, yeah. yeah. Be like, the terminology right. be correct. Get your terminology. Yeah. And that's a Beckett. That's a Beckett certified auto. So that is confirmed more than what I do. That that Beckett confirmed. So it's one point. year, one year with a vesting option. Okay. So the Carlos Carrasco treatment, go or yeah, or the Verlander technically. So Verlander's got a vesting third option. One year. Can you stop trying to get on camera? What? Why are you such a camera dog? Like, he just wants to get on camera all the time. But, I don't know. So, I mean, what yeah, well, is... I mean, the depth externally, meaning mean the external. In the minor league, dude, can you piss off? Look at this dog. Bro, we get it. You want to be on camera. But, all right. I mean, let's, again, who's going to be of the depth internally? Meaning, like, not Tonkin and them shits. Like, is Dayoka even still, like, again, he won't probably pitch the first couple of months. But, he's, like, they, um, he was I, I don't know, to be honest. Like, is he's he dead? dead? He's dead. <laughs> he's just dead at this point. Well, like, at least we having, have Matt Allen. We do have Matt Allen. Uh, is he dead again? He might have had another surgery as we as we speak. Um, like well, again, who gives a shit about Nate Lavender? But he's an option to be in Triple A. Uh, I give a shit. He's a very valuable player of this family. Family of this family. Like, like who else? Even again, if and they're gonna sign again the Dylan, like the types, like a Dylan Bunny, like just those kind of off the wall scrap guys. I want them to sign some minor league DH options. To be honest, I just want them to sign a DH. I don't give a fuck where they're at. Yeah, this is uh I'm surprised the oh wait look oh Turner signed after the podcast was after the podcast was posted. Yeah. Didn't Frank want him? No. Yeah, Frank no. Frank hated him. Frank hated him, yeah. Oh, it was the, it was Ibby and the boys on till the All right, so oh. there's your update. There's your update. Yeah. It's a one year with a vesting option. But I don't know. Point four war. There you go. See, you know he's a good player because his X ERA and his actual ERA are the same. That's good. That's good content. He's not a fraud. He's just what he is. It's not the same. It's actually there's a point zero one shut, difference. Shut up. So Sh sh shut up. It's not well, like if you want to if you want to pretend like you actually know what that means, then I'm gonna fucking annoy you too. But all think right? about it. Like most, you see like guys with good ERAs, and then you look at their expected ERA. It's like four nine. At least like it's in the same ballpark. It's like he is what he is. There's no flukiness, bullshit. He's just he is what he is, and don't get upset. But I don't know. Again, we'll again he if what did he? I mean, if Martino is saying the off season's done, then you know we're done, boys. Yeah, pack it up. This is pack what we're up, doing. this is what we're pulling up with, and yay, it's gonna be a fun year. I'm going into here with no expectations. You is are. It bad? So. Is it bad? I have no. I think this team's a 71 win ball club. Yeah, I'm but like, you're still bitching. If you don't have any expectations, because why I would you bitch? I want to win. I'm tired. I've sh we went through how many dark? A I've had higher hopes for dark ages. Mets teams. It's than better this to team. have lower expectations. No, you don't stre don't stress yourself out. No, this is this, and this is what the Mets always do. When there's no expectations, oh, they're gonna go on this magical run in 2015. Once it's like, all right, you need to do something. They shoot the Mets. So that's back to oh well, and the RDC. Well, we can be the Diamondbacks. Well, no, you're not that. You're ass. You have made a bunch of lateral. The Diamondbacks moves. aren't good either. The Diamondbacks went to the World Series and they have a superstar. They, they lost the World Series, so they suck. That's true. They, the only, only good team is the team that wins it all. Well, that is very true. That is a very factual statement. Yeah, 
and it's led by Jacob deGrom. No, he didn't do anything. Believe it or not. It was right, led by... So 69% of you like this move. Nice. 50, 50 20... <laughs> 21 percent and uh don't 10 percent of you do not like it um well, if you'd like to explain why you don't like it in the chat in the chat we'll gladly sure to we'll ridicule you and scream at you and bully you yeah we do that very well but yeah i mean even, it, this is like again as it, it's an indifferent move like it's a reliever like who cares like people hated aaron like i hate using the like people hated aaron loop that well well people hate it people loved Adam out bringing back Adam out of Vino and that sucks. It's it's a ball pedal. It, it's completely indifferent because they're so finicky and it don't matter. You look at the good ERA, they're but finicky. It, it's they're finical. They're fickle. They're relievers. Like it's different where a bat, we're like, okay, or or a starter, most of the time. We're like, okay, there should be some reliability, some, you know, consistency. These guys just flip flop more than a fish out of water. So again, I like the Deke. I'm happy you met, and the bullpen's better. On paper, but again, it's all just on paper until we get actual human beings in yeah. battered boxes. On paper, but this on guy paper. wants to complain about the team. It's better. I mean, it's, it's still not good. Like again, still Drew Smith's probably a setup high leverage guy, so it ain't that good, but it's better. Here, what happened now? I'm trying to I'm go. Um. Oh no! I'm just updating. Oh All the, shit! Your stuff for the future content and videos, but I don't know. So how are you going to celebrate your birthday? Are you going to buy? Did you get a birthday present besides a James McCann jersey? What um, else, what else did you get? I'm just going to celebrate it with how I always celebrate everything with baseball savant. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. That All right. How the hell are you? You're not 22. That's cat. You're you're not 22. I am 22. You're not. That's cat. That's okay. You're like 19. Somehow, I am. You're like 19. I don't, I don't know how the hell I'm. I'm still alive, to be honest. That that is true. But you're like 19. You're not. You're not actually 22. That's good. No, I'm 22 now, man. I don't see I'm that. feeling 22. Shut up. Shut up. Taylor. And Taylor Swift's gonna get herself a Super Bowl on my. On my yeah, field. the Chiefs. So. Not a Chiefs. You're gonna win. I don't give a shit about Taylor Swift. Get that. Chiefs. King She's not even gonna be there. Well. Why the fuck do I know this? But she's not even gonna be there. She's in Japan or some shit. We need to sign Kershaw. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Yes, no. He's going to either Dodgers or Texas. That's that's it. It's Dodgers 95 percent Dodgers, five percent Rangers. Thank you, explosive. Thank you. He, he you know he made explosive diarrhea earlier, so that makes sense. Me? <laughs> what? Me? Yeah, you you got those birthday shits. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're bored, but I don't know. What's your problem? Are we watching the Pro Bowl, boys and girls? Are we watching the Pro Bowl this weekend? Who we got? The Pro Bowl is today. The skills challenge is today. The game is on. Sunday. Check a private chat. Check private. Okay. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm not even fucking with you, man. Oh, and the the NHL All Star drafts today, and the Knicks are going to be in fucking second place tonight. By the end of the night, it's going to be a good day, boys and girls. Yeah, <clears throat> good day. Good day. Thank God for the Knicks. I can't believe we're living in a world where the Knicks are the best run best run team in New York. We live in that world. That's crazy. Where the Knicks are the most. That's people. crazy, man. That's crazy that the Knicks are the most well run organization in New York. That's wild. And they're going to win the championship. Right. Well, this isn't a Knicks show, so shut up. Nah. All right. Go if New you York, were, because there's York. mixed rumors. One, it's Andy Martino. Two, there's other mixed rumors. Um, Let's say you need a one-year deal. That's not Stanek. Who's the next one you're going after? Who's even left? Um... <laughs> Really Let's say Shinta. you have Shinta. one Shinta. more because, like, we've we've actually done this like three times. <laughs> done it a lot. We've done this like three times in in the uh, off season so far. A two million dollar deal, one year. We've got we've given two million to what? Jorge Lopez, Joey Wendell, Austin Adams, Tonkin. Um, 
Tonkin or whatever. I think he was one million. I don't know. So one million, one million, or two, two million to spend on a bullpen reliever. Who are you taking? Brad Hand. Like it's like who cares? Um, Shinto is going to be more static. Obviously, he's going to get more. Like who's even? Alex Reyes. I mean, we saw that. Sure. Again, split level deal like the Tonkin or like the Austin Adams deal. Fine. Again, not guaranteed a big league spot, but a guy you can keep in Syracuse. I don't want Matt Barnes. I saw uh, you said something about Barnes. I don't. No thanks. Yeah, Barnes is mm. no thanks. Um, I go with again, Kirby like Snead. If, if, same thing with like if Loop boy get two million bucks for Loop, it's to have again split deal, like not getting non guaranteed big league deal. Fine. Like that's kind of we're grasping at the bottom of the barrel. You went to tunnel tunnel mode on your mo- mic. When it lasted forty five minutes, that's good. Uh, I don't know. You good? But you're you're at the bottom of the barrel, so you're looking at the names that are god awful. Like yeah, I make the joke about Brian, but like those level guys, Han, Lou, Barnes, Reyes. I think they get another righty if they do add another. They're gonna like, get another I, righty. Like I think this is the last of the lefties because they have a lot of lefties in the rotation, and then you have the. Uh, um, well, you face a lot of left. You got You need left. You need more left. You face Olson Harper. Um, Ozzy Albies is better against righties or lefties, so I guess that that kind of washes out. The rest of the Braves are right-handed. Schwarber, like there's there's lefties you face between Jazz Chisholm on the lesser extent, uh, but again, there's there's you're going at the bottom of the barrel, so just grab another guy on another again the Tonkin type split level deal. Like I'm I'm okay. Tonkin with, or Ask that, whoever the hell got it. I think it was Adams that got the split level deal. So it's just grab another couple of those again. I wouldn't run a couple of those. Jason Shreve. No. Uh, but once Valentine's Day comes, like if guys are like just taking minor league deals just to get in spring training, take advantage. Like you should be able to take advantage of that once you get to Valentine's Day and pitchers and catchers report. All right. And guys are still hanging around. Yeah. I think we'll I think we'll end on that because I mean, remember, this is a one year deal. Your reliever, right? It doesn't matter because they're just gonna lose. Okay, so one more time, Jake Diekman signs a one-year deal with the Mets plus a vesting option. We still don't know the full on details for the vesting option, and maybe like innings pitched or games played, or keep again, like we said, keep the walk rate below uh um ten percent or something. You get an extra ten thousand. I don't know. But uh, other than that, um, there's going to be, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a clip that comes out today. Um, yeah. Um, thank you for the birthday wishes to everybody, um, even though I don't celebrate happiness. Um, thank you for that as well. That's my favorite <laughs> gift, no matter what. Um, and yeah, one more time, Jake Diekman, one year plus a vesting option to the Mets. Um off season's pretty much wrapping up here. We are getting very, very close to pitchers and catchers reporting about 13, 12 days away from that. Spring is uh, spring. Uh, training is around the corner. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're wrapping this thing up. So um, yeah, podcast every Tuesday. Anything else? Anything else? Um, look out for a, I will say, just to drop as a as a teaser for those of you on replay, it's a teaser. Watch out for a series, a video series that we're going to be doing. Um, that might be during spring training, so in like during March, but just hinting that out. And uh, yeah, other than that, we're gonna be we're gonna head out. Um, I'm gonna go celebrate my birthday with baseball savant. I'm going right. back to work. <laughs> it's like, and see, I'm going see back. See you guys. To- Let's go Mets. Peace out. We'll